I mean, I've been writing since I was able to write. Um, I, I have uh, a little book I made when I was nine years old. That's still like that. I still have around. That's this a little kind of story about my life. Um, and then I, I ended up, I used to write a lot of poetry. That was sort of my, uh, I've got a lot, a lot of embarrassing poetry written, uh, during my high school years and, and then all through, uh, my undergrad. And then I kind of shifted, um, into academic writing for a number of years. But even as I was doing that, I was always still doing creative writing sort of as a way to really process the feelings that are associated with the ideas that I was thinking about. So I have, um. And, I, and for me also, I don't really draw a distinction so much between the different kinds of writing that I'm doing. Like I'm writing fiction or poetry or non creative nonfiction. It, it isn't, doesn't feel different to me so much. It's, they're just different ways of making story. And, um, but then when it comes time to make a book, um, it need, they kind of need to be organized in ways that I guess people can understand or relate to. So um, there's lots of other writing that happened at the same time as Glorious Frazzled Beings, but that writing I guess sits elsewhere, whereas the the stories in Glorious Frazzled Beings are sort of called fiction and and um, are can, relatable to to readers that way. There's a sort of like a yes and no to that. I, the the like one pressure that it creates is that for the first time in my life. Right now, because I've I've been very fortunate this year to receive a Canada Council grant and a BC Arts Council grant to write. So so for the first time in my life, I I'm I'm receiving an income to spend time writing. Um, whereas most of my time uh, writing has been unpaid uh, or very like little amount of money coming. And the reality is that I have a family. I have to pay my bills. I have to pay my rent, and so my car breaks down. Uh, my chickens need food. Um, there's all sorts of things that a life requires uh, that are related to the money that's needed for that. So if I identify like success as being able to earn a living writing, then on some level, I would sure like to keep this going because I'm very much enjoying being able to have more writing time and not working um, so much outside the home. Um, so, so on that level, that's like there, you know, in that sort of practical world where you have to exist as a human. But in terms of my like creative world where um, where the writing comes from? No, because I'm not writing to be successful. I'm writing because there's stories that come to me that ask me to write them. And I show up in that place and I try to pay attention to those stories and to bring those stories from the world that's where they're given to me um, to be shared with the wider world through the gift of words. There was a time in my life where I applied to do my master's in anthropology and writing at the same time. And I was accepted into uh, programming each, but I got a scholarship to do the anthropology. So I ended up doing the anthropology because I didn't have the money to do the writing. But, um, and I sort of thought to myself at the time, well, I'll always do the writing anyways. I know that that's not gonna go away. So I'll, I'll, I'll study the anthropology and, and see where that takes me. And I think, um, I mean, I think the one thing I'd have to say is like writing a PhD dissertation forces you to be really disciplined. So I know how to spend a lot of time working on a project and uh, sticking with it for a long time and um, going through those sort of difficulties of like, is this gonna go anywhere? Where is it gonna go? This is really hard. How am I ever gonna get there? Um, I know that I can, and I know that um, all it takes is me showing up and writing every day and just doing the work. So I think in that sense, the academic training of disciplining yourself to um, dive into a project and then uh, make your way through it uh, to the other side is was a helpful, a helpful sort of uh, set of practices to to encourage me to create a, a bigger piece of work. Um, and yeah, so, and then in terms of the style, I mean, I'm so glad I'm not writing academic work anymore. I mean, I found that, I found it boring. It was, it was, I don't want to write for an academic audience because most of the people that I know and love can't read that work. Um, I want to write, uh, write things that people I know and love can, can read and hopefully resonate with. Um, academic work is readable by really a small amount of people who are able to access that language. Um, Although I'm grateful for the ideas that I'm able to hold through that, it wasn't the work that I wanted to do. 